Welcome to Food Trends TV. I am everyday innovator Dana McCauley and today we're going to talk about ethical meat certification. Now, you've probably gotten very used to seeing things like free range, grass fed, raised without antibiotics, raised without hormones, um, organic, all those types of labels on meats. But what the um, ethical certification bodies are bringing to the meat consumer is a much more comprehensive um, and audited assurance of the quality and welfare that the animals that we're buying as food um, were treated with. So what's interesting is that, you know, of course, it's funny to watch things like Portlandia, where a couple runs off to the farm to see how happy the chicken that uh, that's being offered to them for the evening special um, to find out how happy their life was. Um, so we were just ordering and we just wanted to make sure that the animals were being ethically treated and more importantly that the farmers were you know like ethical people it's just important oh, to us of course really when it comes down to it we do want moral satisfaction about what we eat so for instance a psychology today study was very interesting and in that it found that most people who chose to become vegetarians did so so that they could um, feel better about the ethics and the moral um, uh, quality of their diet. Unfortunately, most of the people, I think it was about half, who adopted the vegetarian lifestyle couldn't sustain it. So these programs, like the Certified Humane Program, which started in the U.S. a number of years ago and is now uh, South America, Europe, Canada, you name it, has, uh, you know, it's just growing like crazy. Uh, and the uh, SPCA certification program, they give consumers this moral satisfaction they're looking for and um, this understanding that the quality of the meat and meat products that they're putting into their family's bodies is as uh, healthy as possible, that these animals were fed and raised in a humane and responsible way. How meaningful do you you find these types of certifications? Are you willing to pay a little bit more to have something that is certified humanely and ethically raised? Tell me in the comment section below and if you can press subscribe I will look forward to seeing you back here for future episodes of Food Trends TV.